Chernobyl, the 2019 TV series available on HBO. Um, now, this is a first for me, reviewing a TV series and not a movie. Uh, and that's partly because I don't really watch that many uh, series. Um, I also didn't initially plan to make a video specifically for Chernobyl, mainly because it seems like I was late to the party and everyone and their mothers have already seen the series and by the time that I did, at least judging by the amount of recommendations and praise coming from every way. Um, but as I was watching it, I couldn't help but feel uh, that among all those recommendations and opinions, one point about the series was missing, was being omitted. Uh, a point which I think, on the one hand, is fairly obvious, on the other hand, extremely vital. So when people talk about Chernobyl and gush about it, they typically mention, rightfully so, uh, the strong subject matter, the excellent narrative structure and the script, uh, great acting, terrific production design and attention to detail, not just in terms of the presented facts and story, but also things like the costumes and the sets and the props, in general, just the look and feel of the series. Uh, and that's all fine and right, and people are correct in, in praising all those things. Uh, but the one thing they have heard nobody mention, I think, was the subtle parallels between the Chernobyl situation and the current events. Because if you think about it, the tragedy of Chernobyl, as presented in the series, boils down mostly to lies and cover-ups, to the arrogance of man, to people flat out refusing or denying scientific data in order not to jeopardize their careers, their own well-being, or the well-being of the organization that they're a part of, um, in that case the Soviet Union. In fear of losing their own short-term benefits, those people would recklessly endanger the lives of millions of people. Well, I think it's not a coincidence that the series has come out now of all times, because isn't it exactly the same scenario as the situation with climate change? I mean, I try to follow news from around the world, and it seems that every other day there's a new report, new piece of research where scientists sound the alarm bells whether it's about the CO2 levels in the atmosphere or ice caps melting and uh, sea levels rising or increasing deforestation in the Amazon, especially after Bolsonaro's election in Brazil or high temperature records uh, around the world or biodiversity going down the drain with the increasing number of um, uh, animal and insect species dying off. The message of all that, all that stuff is quite clear. We're on the path to the doom of human civilization as we know it, and we're likely past the point of no return. Yet a lot of the powers that be and the media and even regular people are very quick to dismiss all those news as alarmist and exaggerating. And in a lot of ways, not just do nothing about it, but continue fueling the spiral of disaster. And it's not just the warning of scientists who come out specifically against the so-called establishment, the energy industry and other offenders. Just a couple of months ago, um, a leaked document circulated around the internet. It was a 1982 internal report done by Exxon scientists. And in that report, they have correctly predicted in 1982, they've correctly predicted the rise of CO2 levels in the atmosphere almost to the, to the number as the long-term result of the company's actions. And they have also correctly outlined the dangers that would come with it right about now, right about this time. And their answer to those problems was the best or the worst part of it, as it boiled down to, well, we don't really have a solution uh, for the moment, so we'll just gonna run with it and uh, we're gonna hope that by the time consequences arise someone will have figured it out and you don't have to take my word for it by the way I'll link the report in the video description it's really a great read it opens your eyes to to what's going on so all that said it's a little baffling to me that at the same time the Chernobyl series is so highly praised across the media and the internet and uh, at the same time, the current issues of climate change are so easily dismissed, often, I'd imagine, by the exact same people. So is it hypocrisy? Is it simple stupidity, not recognizing the parallels here? I think Chernobyl itself may have hinted at the answer. There's a great line in the final episode. Um, no one ever thinks it's going to happen to them. Uh, so apologies for going on this little tangent here. Uh, but what I really want to say is this. Watch Chernobyl, because it is a fantastic, powerful series. But watch it consciously, with your eyes and your mind open, and really consider what you're seeing.